Men, we should start from standardization first. We have to know what kind of standards of operations, what type of standard of boats, the jetties, where these boats take off, and the very kind of operations we want to involve in uh, on the waterways. Uh, before we can now even design regulations that can fit and suit such operations. And having done that, of course, that's when actual enforcement starts. And if you look at it mostly in Nigeria today, most of our problems hinges around enforcing these standards, these regulations, these uh, do and, and don't. Um, uh, there is a lot of uh, flouting of the rules of the game as far as inland waterways transport is concerned. And uh, when there are such uh, 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 misuse of uh, the rules, of course, definitely uh, uh, um, mishaps could happen because uh, one, in terms of the standards, the jetties where such trip starts must be of good uh, 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 repute. The boats that are to load must be of standards and must be uh, worthy of carrying out that trip. And then the, uh, the, the, the passengers that are to uh, board such boats must be well kitted in terms of uh, use of safety uh, kits and life jackets. Uh, then also, uh, the operator must have the requisite qualification, of course, to ride on this, uh, I mean, boards, and also uh, must be in good state of, uh, I mean, you, you often see drunken boat operators moving boats all around. So all these are, I mean, uh, arising out of weak regulatory or the enforcement of these regulatory uh, uh, systems that have been on ground. Definitely, uh, I agree very well that there are all the rules we need today to safeguard our waterways, but definitely their enforcement and the standardization of particularly operations. The boats are rickety too, many particularly those that are in the outskirts. Uh, within Lagos area, you can see one or two neat boats, well operated, but definitely uh, this is uh, not significant enough as far as uh, the vast um, uh, space we have to operate uh, waterways transport in this country. Mind you, it's an important uh, uh, segment of our multimodal system, which needs to contribute too. But definitely we've not been having that. And mostly it's because of the fear of incidents that go around that happens almost every other time. Uh, this is just the beginning of the season. Uh, as the rains go up, the waters go up, the need for travel sometimes by water also go up. And several uh, uh, security challenges are always there, of course. But if we can standardize, uh, regulate, enforce these regulations, and ensure that there is compliance to it, and in fact, sustain that compliance ratio to a large extent that every person is aware of what he uh, is embarking on. And particularly, the, uh, uh, the, the, the level of compliance must be met to be understood, because there is a lot of um, need for enlightenment of both the operators and the users of inland waterway transport service in this country. Not just on a short trip, but even on a longer trip. We have long routes that could have been covered, commercially viable, substituting a lot of uh, uh, roads, uh, haulage uh, vehicles, and delivering goods in a very, I mean, in the cheapest form. Also, passengers can have it in a very nice, uh, 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 I mean, form by having trips that are both travels and enjoyment. Because if you look at the shape of our rivers, Niger and Binwe, and how they go down to the lower Niger into the beautification, you will know that Nigeria is a beautiful country as far as um, waterways is concerned because we have it in abundance. But uh, are we taking real good advantage of it? Of course, no, because 
it is not contributing even up to 10% of what we expected from it. 